Hey guys, if you fancy yourselves any Ultimate Team coins to buy up any of those pretty expensive players right now, then check out GameColdTrader.com. Use CalFreezy at checkout and you will grab yourself a 10% discount. Go ahead and try that. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video. And if you guys watched yesterday, we did the most overpowered players. But let's take a look at the opposite side of the spectrum and let's see who we have as the biggest letdowns in FIFA 14. So as you guys can imagine, I tweeted out about who do you think has been the biggest letdown and I got so many replies, it was fantastic, it was great to hear from all of you and uh, there were plenty of people that had a few players that had just not done them right. They thought they were buying someone awesome and what did they get? A nothing but a pile of not so good stuff so anyways um first off our very first player is in fact going to be a goalkeeper now there were a few different shouts for these goalkeepers a lot of them said uh petr Cech, um and i was actually kind of surprised by that because for me petr Cech has definitely been one of the better keepers that i've used in this game um there was also um this big boy right here and he goes by the name casillas now for me casillas is just not a very good keeper in this game he's 86 rated and admittedly at times he has moments where he is just a god but he's so inconsistent and because he's quite a small player it really doesn't help him out whatsoever and in fact it makes him a pretty crappy keeper now um keep in mind guys this is um a lot of these picks are to do with my personal experiences with the players so uh, maybe you know uh, Casillas was an absolute monster for you and he was just amazing that's awesome but this was my personal experiences with these players and again as always let me know in the comments who were your biggest letdowns in FIFA 14 who did you think you were buying who was just gonna be the next big thing who's going to be Jesus on a pitch and turned out to be nothing but an Andy Carroll so you know just let me know okay guys Anyways, we've got a few players so far. We've actually got three center backs now first up We have PK PK for me was out of position He couldn't keep up with anyone and was just overall a real mess of a center back uh, The other one we have is John Terry and Per Mertesacker and the main reason for this is now I'm not blaming these particular cards I'm actually kind of blaming EA because these guys are not fast center backs, but Per Mertesacker admittedly he like I said he is not fast But he is a, no, a really really good center back in real life and unfortunately in this game he's just crap he's so bad in this game and I just don't know uh, why EA have given him that low pace I know he's a slow center back but is he really that slow like he's pretty much in a wheelchair at this point point. Um, and that kind of goes the same for John Terry I definitely think those guys deserve a little boost in the pace the department but uh, at right back I've actually got right midfielder because I wanted um there's going to be a few different uh, out of position players, but uh, yeah, it's uh, Muller. Now, we all saw how good Muller is at the World Cup, and when you get him and you play him in FIFA, he just doesn't come with that sort of uh, player that you kind of expect when you see him uh, playing in real life. Now, um, you know, he is a right midfielder on this. He doesn't have a lot of pace and things like that, which is completely fine. It's quite realistic. You know, uh, uh, Muller isn't known for his blistering pace or anything like that, but for some reason, he just doesn't seem to be anywhere on the pitch. Like, He's just nowhere near as good as he is in real life And I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say anyways We have got Rooney now Rooney for me was just he was just horrific You know there were some people who said Rooney was really good for them You know, I, I believe his long shots are quite good, but for me He was just really kind of crappy I just couldn't beat any players and the only time he was good for me was in and around the uh, in around the edge of the box where I could take these long shots But besides that I just didn't find him that great anyways uh, the two attacking mid are actually BPL players and we've got Ozil and Mata. Ozil and Mata just do not translate well into this game. Ozil for me, you know, he's got a, a high rating similar to Mata actually and they just do not perform whatsoever. You know, I would much prefer someone like De Bruyne, uh, you know, the Chelsea version. Um, there's so many other players that I would prefer to have in there. Even Santi Cazorla, he's got a lethal finesse and long shot but these two lads in the middle, they just didn't cut it at all for me. So uh, again, as always, these are my personal opinions opinion and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about your biggest letdowns in the comments anyways on the left wing we have got William now William for me he at first okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna admit this because at first I thought he was really good when I first played with the game I thought William is awesome 
He's not awesome. Shirla kicks his ass in this game. He's just, he didn't work out well for me. Uh, he's got some pace, I guess, and you can beat a few players. But besides that, he really wasn't getting my juices flowing, all right? No, no, don't think about anything naughty there, you filthy pricks. Anyways, at the two top, we have got Aguero and Bale. Aguero and Bale... Just a huge letdown. Bale, for me, was just atrocious. He couldn't do much. And uh, Aguero, he's got a bit of pace on him. But he's just nowhere near as fast as I was hoping he would be. And uh, there's times where I'm just like, how did you not finish that? And then, of course, the bench got Soldado, Tevez, Hart, and Cavani. Those guys were kind of like my my backups, if you will. I honestly thought they weren't that great. But they didn't deserve a starting spot on FIFA 14's biggest letdowns. Now, let me know in the comments. Who do you think was the biggest letdown for you? And I want to hear what you guys all have to say. I hope you guys all have a great day. And let me know if there's any other teams you'd like to see me build.